welcome back to another episode of Growing with Lala's Crops. So today you guys, I will be doing my vertical trellises. Right now, I'm showing you the cattle panel that I picked up from Tractor Supply. This is a 16 foot long cattle panel that I will be cutting up. Now I'm gonna keep one. I'm gonna keep one of these for my arch. So yeah, today we're gonna cut up six foot long piece to put for my flower raised bed and then the other pieces the remaining pieces i will put into my four by four raised bed and then my three by i don't know the other dimension so right now my husband is just measuring out the six feet and we're going to cut it with a bolt cutter so that's what i'm going to be using all right so he has already measured out the six feet and i told him that i want to kind of keep the edge like a smooth edge so it's just going to be vertical so we're gonna cut uh, back here and not right here. So we're gonna cut along here. All right. All right, I'm gonna hold it out for you. <coughs> oh, we got to cut it, cut it, cut it. All right, there we go. Boy, forearms gonna be tight today, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, he cut it, you guys. All right, so that's six feet long. So I'm gonna reuse. So we could cut these edges off. Right. Here. No, I'm gonna keep that edge and put it down into the soil. Oh. That's why I want to cut it like that. Oh, okay. See, see my she method. Wants to, <laughs> she wants to have this point in. Go down into the soil. Uh, uh -huh. But I just don't know how tall I want it, though. That's the thing. So can you measure how the length of this? Well, it should be 10, 10 feet, right? And we just cut off six feet. Five feet, okay. Right there. All right, so we're gonna cut this technically kind of in half. That's what you want to cut? Yeah. All right. All right, so we're doing the same technique. And you guys, I just got this bolt cutter from uh, Walmart. It's like. Uh, $12 and tractor supply is gonna be like 20 something. I'm like, no, I'm not spending that much. So we have that down. So now we're going to already have some T posts out here. Let me show you guys. All right, you guys. So we have already put the T post down into the ground, as you can see, but we're gonna put pull it up a little bit. I'm trying to see if I want to leave myself some extra inches back here to, you know. I would. Yeah. Let me see. Let me go around. No, you might not need to have it. All right, so you guys, that's what it's looking like so far. Yeah, that's right here is good. I have some zip ties, you guys, that I will be using. Now I only have five left, so we're gonna have to make it work. Yeah. One, two, three, four, and then I have a fifth one. So I'm gonna apply the zip tie so we can secure it like that and I'll go in and cut it later let me get the other side because you coming back huh because you coming back and yeah I'm coming back <laughs> mm -hmm. all right got that down all right here we go big old arms Hercules. Gotta, be, gotta be right gotta be right all right you guys so that's completed I'm still worried about this little edge right here but I think it'll be good if I, I don't know if I can use the bolt cutter to kind of cut that off I, I doubt it but it is what it is um trying to make sure that i'm aware of that yeah, side right. let me go around so this is what it looks like and in the back here i'll put like you know my melons my watermelon cantaloupe and allow that to grow up on that and then in the front i have some flowers so i have two more pieces um, I'm going to place one of these down into the four by four, but the other one, I may have to cut it down to three feet wide because I wanted the extra one to go in this little flower raised bed right here. So if we this here, right. Cut that. Extra piece. Okay. We can do that. Really All right. So he got, my husband's going to cut off the extra pieces since, uh, yeah.
Man, we might as well do the arch. Why? <laughs> And just put some T-posts, I'll put some T-posts on it later while we got help, because I know I can't do that. That thing heavy. What would it do? Y'all yeah, gonna have to go back in. Yeah, we got time. Well, we have to close it. I can't see them stuff. I know. It's a little wobbly, you guys, but I'll come in with some T-posts a little later and, uh, you know, secure it a little bit better. But yeah, that we got a trellis right here. Trellis over there. Now I just need to put the last one over here. We're trying to debate if we're going to go ahead and do the arch. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, we're going to cut this down to three feet now. Let me get the measuring tape. So we're measuring this uh, raised bed right here. I think it's about, I mean, it's a couple extra inches, but. Oh, it is an extra inch. Three and a half. So we're going to do three and a half. So I have my friend Ricky here with me. We got to put it on outside. He's here. Hey, we're hey, doing hey. videos together today. Woo -woo. Bam, uh, where the welcome is, back, yeah, back there. So okay. I can have, yeah. Cause it's still, I don't want it to block, you know, what I put in here. True, true. So I gotta put it this way. Bam, you guys, look at this. <laughs> All right, so thank you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, so I have one, two, Three tra oh well I have to put up the other one too but as far as like you know um, the ones that we cut up I have one two three trellises that I was able to make out of that 16 foot long counter panel um, so yeah and the counter panel was like 20 something dollars you guys so a lot of people are using this option um, because it's a little bit more affordable it's just sometimes you may have to buy extra supplies to like cut it up if you know you need to and just buy some T posts to really like secure it down so eventually i will you know um, add some t-posts to the back to kind of like secure it down especially since we have like hurricane season here in florida so so yeah or i could just you know um nail it to the back of the raised bed that's another option to kind of save money on the t-posts so now we are going to do uh the arch they are just going to place it on the outside and then a little later we're going to come in and nail it down to the raised bed like that but yeah you guys everything looks pretty good i think once you know the plants start growing up on the trellises it will look beautiful so yeah so i have like a little shorter one right here this one is a little taller over there so i'm gonna have like my cucumbers right there and then on this one i'm gonna have like the little mini watermelon that i'm growing and yeah, you know, just have different size trellises in your garden will help, you know, maximize your growing spaces. So we got that piece in. All right, go ahead. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a point though. So keep it in place. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, but bring yours up, Ricky, though. Up where? To the front. One in the front. Oh, okay. Yeah, to the beginning. There we go. There we go. All right. <laughs> All right, so it's not secure, secure, you guys. I gotta go in and put some, um, nail it down. But since we have help with my friend Ricky, uh, we went ahead and put the arch up. So that's what that's looking like. You gotta come this side, you guys. I would just hook it. I would just hook it there. Where? Hook it on the ground. Put some stakes, like some, some oh. on the ground, and then right here too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen people put the T-post right here. Yeah, right. yeah. And some people put it inside the raised bed, but I, don't, I didn't know if I wanted to do that. Mm -hmm. But when the wind comes for hurricane season, you gotta think about it, it's gonna go like this. All right, you guys, so there we have it. We have the arch up. Like I said, we'll come, I'll come in and we'll come in and, you know, secure this a little bit better. Uh, we have a trellis right here and the, <laughs> my friend right here. We have the trellis in here and the three feet and extra inches raised bed uh this is the four by four raised bed um and this one is a little taller than this one and then in the back i have um the six foot 
long trellis that I will be growing like, you know, like the watermelons and melons on. And eventually, like when I do crop rotations, you know, I can go in and just grow tomatoes on here or some other things on here. So, so yeah. Um, but the old arch that I have back there where the water station is, I'm going to put that one back here because we have like some little bricks area over here. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to have like two big pots back here. And I'm just going to reuse that arch back here and then just grow some flowers on that to kind of add add on to the uh to the garden so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video showing you how we you know cut the cattle panels to fit uh into my raised bed you guys so i will see you guys in my next video as always happy gardening peace